Hi. Hi, Sharon Brennan here, Cottage Lane Stamper. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator, and I wanted to demonstrate for you um, a flower that one of the design team at Stampin' Up came up with. It is using the um, stamp set from the new annual catalog, 2019-2020, Daisy Lane, and it also uses the new punch that came out that coordinates with this set. It's called the Medium Daisy Punch. The number there is 149517, if you can read that. And we're also going to use the Daisy Punch that came out last year or the year before, the Daisy Punch 143713. I'll have all these numbers on my um, video for you. It also, they, she also used, I believe, the 1 and 3 8 inch circle punch, but I do not have that, so I'm using an old scallop punch that I have. This is retired. You're, I don't, you're not able to get this anymore. It's a 1 and a fourth. And I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. When she did hers, she did them all in one color, so I wanted to try something just a little different. We're also going to use a little bit of um, Early Espresso and the Half Inch Circle Punch. So I pre-stamped and cut these, so you're going to need um, two of the larger daisies stamped with this Daisy Punch from the newest set and then punch out two that are not stamped. Same with with the small ones. Um, two that aren't stamped and two that are. And then two of these and these you cut on the little, I don't know if you can see there, where I've cut into the center there. So we're going to assemble this now and we're going to take our first um, blank or unstamped punch and put a little bit of glue there and we're going to align these up. Let's see. I like working with glue especially for something like this because you get a little bit of, um, if I pick it up I might have better luck. You get a little bit of movement before it, you're really committed. <laughs> and then we're going to glue these two together. And I wanted to mention too, um, today is October or August 21st, I believe. I have a promotion that's going on. I accidentally ordered two of the medium Daisy Punch, the new one. And so anyone who places a $50 order or more before September, by September 10th, their name will get entered into a drawing, and I will draw that name on September 11th and announce the winner. So um, just go to my store, SharonBrennan.StampinUp.net. You can order from the annual catalog, and starting September 4th, the new holiday catalog um, debuts. So you can use either one of those catalogs. So we're going to glue these together. kind of layer them. Isn't that beautiful? All that depth and I can actually flick these up a little bit. And, oh, I'm gonna see the glue. I love the glue. There we go. I'll let that set for a bit. And then we're gonna glue these two together. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be yours. Um, don't even have to live next door to each other to do that. So, recently I had an order from someone in Arizona that I absolutely did not know. And when I Googled her on Facebook to have her join my page, and if you'd like to join my page too, it's a um, Facebook page uh, group. It's um, Cottage Lane Stamper and Friends with an ampersand. So, and a little bit of glue here. Then we're going to glue these together. And 
couple of these. See if we can stagger them a little bit there. Uh, there we go. We're gonna let that dry for a bit, and then we're gonna take the Daisy Punch and grab a piece of scrap paper here, and we're gonna stamp. We really only need the center here. The center of the flower, and we're going to stamp that here. We're going to need it close to the edge because we're going to punch it out. <laughs> and we stamped it on our scratch paper. Isn't that wonderful? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm sure you guys never ever do anything silly like that. <laughs> I'm going to stamp it right here. There we go. Much better. <laughs> and we're going to take our half inch circle punch and just stamp just that center that's got the little dots in it. Then we're going to take our, I'm going to put my glue cover back on here. I lose things constantly here. Take our little dot and our take a pick tool. Now I don't know if you've gotten this or not. It's wonderful. It's got one end that's sticky for picking up um, like sequins and, and things like that. And when you order it, you get an extra with it. You also get the stylus tool. And then one end you have a palette and the other end you have like a paper piercer. So, and they've also come out with the, um, oh, help me Lord here, um, the brush. So you can brush your, um, your intricate dies and we're going to just start in the center here and work out you know what I got this upside down you want to do this with the the stamp set side down and work out to the center so it kind of gives a rounded effect concave if you want a more technical term I don't know if you can see that. And my hands are full of ink, which is normal for me. And so if you don't have that, you could add that to your order. Then we're going to take this and a, let's see if I can find a dimensional here, a regular size one. I got lots of minis. There we go. Nope, that's not it either. <laughs> well, Lord have mercy. <laughs> all kinds of minis. Let me grab a regular size one here. Love the mini ones. Also, I don't know if you know this here, where this. They also came up with black ones. So that um, if you have something dark, the white won't be showing through. So we're going to Put this, well here we're going to scrunch these up a little bit. So I was waiting for the glue to die, dry. Let's zoom in a little bit more here if I can. Kind of flick it up a little bit, scrunch it. I suppose if you don't have the punch, you could also use, um, if you have the layering circle dies, you could use one of those scalp dies too and do the same thing. I didn't think of that, but that would have been a good idea. Okay, so we're going to take this off. Put that right 
there. Isn't that a beautiful flower? And you could actually bend these up a little bit more to give it more dimension. And you could use the um, spray punch. I actually have some pre-cut here. I'll show you what it is. could use the spray punch with that and the leaf punch See if I have any another this is I was going to show you this is the leaf punch and this is the, sp the spray punch so I'll put those numbers on there too. And then you could just add this to a card. Or what they demonstrated was um, it was like a wooden board that looked kind of um, old fashioned and weathered. I have one of my supply things for my craft fairs, but I didn't have it in the house. And then they had a bunch of these um, attached to it. And they were all different colors, and they were absolutely gorgeous. I'll post a picture of it um, in my video. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that quick, how easily that went together. You could do this on a card, or like I said, on a 3D project where you would put in a picture frame, something like that. So um, just a couple of ideas. I'm using the new medium um, daisy punch and the daisy, the daisy lane um stamp set and as you can see it goes together really fast so thanks for stopping in if you don't have a demonstrator I'd be honored to be yours um, and you can shop at my store SharonBrennan.StampinUp.net and may God bless you